Hello, I'm Kia Koda with On Point Performance. Today, we're gonna to be talking about stunt cages. I'll be going over protection, profile, materials, welding, mounting points, sliders, and shock absorbers. The On Point stunt cage will protect the upper, mid, and lower fairings. It will protect the motor, gas tank, handlebars, rear sets, shifter, foot brake. It will stay clear of your legs when you're riding. And it will allow full lean of the bike without the cage touching, which is right there. It has a low profile that sits tight to the bike while sticking out far enough to protect all of the essentials. When we design a stunt cage, we will always start with sliders as close as we can possibly get them to the bike and slowly working the way out until they offer the protection necessary and not go past that. When it comes to materials, we want to make sure this cage is as strong as possible to take all the repeated hits we throw at it while still staying lightweight to not take away the performance of the bike. For this, we utilize one and three quarter inch DOM one and a quarter inch steel tubing 120 wall and three quarter inch DOM on our crossbars. We utilize CNC machined mounting tabs here, here, and here. And all of them are three eighths inch thick, which is pretty much the thickest used in the market. Now let's talk about welding. All of our products are TIG welded, while the majority of products in the market are MIG welded. For those of you who are not familiar with the difference between TIG and MIG, I won't get too much into the details, but just know that A, TIG is the strongest weld possible. Um, it comes at a cost of, requires a lot more time to do compared to MIG, and it requires a much more skilled welder to be able to properly do it. Um, but in the end of the day, whenever a weld is absolutely critical and you want the best weld possible, like in applications like aerospace, you will be utilizing TIG welding. Stunt cages typically have three mounting points. The upper motor mount, the rear swing arm, and a crossbar. In terms of the rear, there's two options. Some companies choose to go to this transmission mount, while we choose to go to the rear swing arm mount. The difference between the two is this allows you to make the cage a little bit shorter, which appears a little bit more compact and makes it look a little bit better, but it comes at a cost of being a much weaker mount. We choose this mount right here. It's the strongest mount on the bike and provides the most protection. For our sliders, we utilize a composite material that's strong enough to take repeated hard impacts without exploding, while our competitors use Delrin, which has a tendency to explode on hard hits. Slider locations vary on every bike because every bike has different geometry, different mounting points, and therefore the cages fit differently and have to be designed specifically for that application. While some cage manufacturers try to stick to one cage design, which is having a slider at the motor mount and going down from there, we have found that while that works great on some bikes, it doesn't work on others. For example, the 0405 Jixxer 600 cage is built in that fashion. There will be a slider up here and a smaller slider up there and the crossbar will go through there and that is the best design for catching the weight of this bike. On this bike, it isn't. If we had a slider down here, it would actually help want to over rotate the bike and we need to have a slider up here to actually catch the weight of this bike if it rolls hard enough to really want to roll over. Um, and so you will see that our crossbar is also located here. Um, we have found that that is also a much better location for this versus coming down here just to have a crossbar. Let me show you when the bike goes down what I mean. So there's your initial hit. We want the bike to stay like this and not roll over on its own. And everything's protected from foot pegs, motor, plastics, rear sets, all that stuff's covered. Now, if this bike falls hard enough, there is a potential, if it's going fast enough, it's going to want to roll. That's where this other slider and our sub cage is gonna come into effect. This will catch the bike and prevent it from rolling. It will just slide. 
these bikes were not designed to have cages mounted to them or to take repeated hard hits from low sides, high side, or wheelies. These were designed for racing. They have very lightweight frames that are prone to cracking and are overall weak. Therefore, we utilize shock absorption to keep those impact forces off the bike. We linked up with a suspension company that builds off-road race shocks, and we work with them to develop a material that we can utilize to handle the weight of a bike falling at speed or from a wheelie. Um, there's a couple other companies that have attempted to do shock absorption. They use a spring, and we feel that is not adequate. Reasoning for that is a spring is not a shock absorber. A spring is designed to set ride height. Think about your car. There's a shock absorber to actually handle impact forces and shocks. And they typically use air, gas, or a fluid, or a composite material. And that's what we have here. While this may look like a simple foam, it's far from it. It actually will compress at a progressive rate, similar to an air or gas shock or even oil, and will keep the impact forces off the bike significantly better than any spring could ever do, which is better than nothing, but nowhere near as a proper shock absorber. With all that in mind, we need to still make sure the cage looks good. We follow the lines of the bike. We try to stay as close to it as possible. And ultimately, we try to make this look like if it was a factory component, if Kawasaki wanted this. You'll notice that when the bike goes down, the only thing that makes contact with the ground are the sliders, not the cage tubing itself. And that's also a major difference between our product and competitors that feel it's acceptable for cage tubing to actually scrape the ground, ruin fresh powder coat, and actually gouge into the metal of the cage when the bike goes down. On our cages, if you have fresh powder, that powder will remain fresh. And I have to say, it looks sexy. <laughs>